Hedda Hopper was an actress known for her work in the early 20th century. She became famous not just for her roles in films, but also for her later work as a gossip columnist. Now, think back to your own experiences with Hedda Hopper. Do you remember a particular moment or movie that stands out to you? What's the first film or performance of hers that you saw? We're eager to hear about your most memorable experiences with this classic star. Share your stories and memories in the comments. We'd love to hear them. And stay tuned because we've got many surprising, funny, and touching facts about Hedda Hopper coming up in this video. Don't miss out. Hedda Hopper was a significant figure in Hollywood, known for her dual career as an actress and a powerful gossip columnist. Her influence extended beyond her film roles through her widely read newspaper column, which she used to shape the public's perception of Hollywood stars and the film industry. She had a reputation for fearlessness in her columns, which could make or break careers. Her ability to sway public opinion and her network within the industry made her one of the most influential women in Hollywood during her time. Hopper's contribution to the film industry was not limited to her acting. Her column was a force that held considerable sway over the careers of actors, directors, and producers. In the early days of her career, she faced tough working conditions as a silent film actress. The makeshift setup in an old barn with flimsy partitions served as the backdrop for her initial roles in the film industry. Transitioning from acting, she later found her calling as a gossip columnist, where her sharp insights and keen observations made her a notable figure. To maintain a youthful image in the public eye, she adjusted her birth date by five years, presenting herself as younger than her actual age. This move was a reflection of the pressures and expectations placed on women in the entertainment industry during that era. In the landscape of Hollywood's golden era, one actress found her niche not only on the silver screen, but also in the world of gossip journalism. After a challenging phase in her acting career, she took on a role that would redefine her path. Her portrayal as a critical society woman in Nothing Sacred was just a prelude to her becoming a household name with her own column in the Los Angeles Times. Her insights and scoops on Hollywood's elite made her a formidable figure, rivaling even the likes of Loella Parsons. Her work was not limited to print. She also graced the screen as Anise Montari in As You Desire Me, where production delays were often due to a co-star's difficulty with lines. Her transition from actress to one of the most influential gossip columnists of her time is a testament to her adaptability and keen understanding of the film industry's inner workings. A legal battle in 1964 saw Michael Wilding claim damages from a book that suggested he was homosexual, leading to a settlement of 100 thus. The locations associated with Hedda Hopper's professional life, such as her offices in the Equitable and Guarney buildings, have been featured in films like Hollywood Mouth and its sequel. These sites also connect to stories of other celebrities like Simone Signoret, who discussed the political differences in Oscar nomination omissions with Hopper. In 1972, a book titled Hedda and Loella explored the lives of Hopper and her contemporary Loella Parsons, offering insights into their influence on Hollywood's golden era. In a memorable scene, she stands poised at the top of a grand staircase, capturing the moment as Norma Desmond makes her dramatic descent. Her journey to this pinnacle began with bold steps at 18, leaving home for New York City to join an opera company's chorus line. Her heritage traces back to the Pennsylvania Dutch, a testament to her strong roots and the diverse cultural tapestry that shaped her. In the mid-20th century, a well-known figure in Hollywood used her connections with influential individuals to gather information on the film industry. Her network included powerful names like Senator Joseph McCarthy and J. Edgar Hoover. She played a role in the political sphere, supporting McCarthy's efforts, and aiding Ronald Reagan's entry into politics. Her influence extended to her attempts to block the release of films, and ensuring safety measures met her standards before travel. Her presence in the film industry was not just behind the scenes. She appeared as Dolly Dupeister in The Women, where her character mirrored her real-life role as a society gossip. This portrayal was close to her personal life, where she was a mother to a son who later became known for his role in Perry Mason. Her acting skills were also utilized in Sunset BLVD, where she played herself. Despite the director's closer ties to another columnist, her acting background made her the preferred choice for the on-screen portrayal. Her career thus spanned both gathering and sharing Hollywood stories and stepping into the spotlight herself. 
a popular television show became a gathering place for Hollywood's elite, not for financial gain, but for the love of the craft and camaraderie. Among the notable guests was a woman who transitioned from acting to become a powerful voice in the entertainment industry through her widely read gossip column. She was once immortalized in a painting by a famous comedian, a piece that has grown significantly in value over the years. This woman's journey from the screen to the pen illustrates the diverse paths one can take in the pursuit of influence within the world of cinema. In the golden era of Hollywood, the paths of two entertainers crossed in more ways than one. While they never shared the screen in Sunset Boulevard, their earlier collaborations included the comedy Speak Easily and the short film The Stolen Jewels. Their careers intertwined again on television in 1958, sharing the stage with Carol Burnett. Their final curtain call came on the same day, marking the end of two storied careers in the same city where they had found fame. Earlier, a significant change in personal life occurred when a divorce was filed in 1923, leading to a new beginning as a single parent the following year. These moments are pieces of a larger story that unfolded both on and off the screen. In the classic film Sunset Boulevard, the presence of a real-life gossip columnist added a layer of authenticity to the Hollywood setting. While the original plan was to have two columnists vying for attention in a climactic scene, only one made the final cut due to her commanding presence. This columnist was not just a fixture in the entertainment industry, but also a mother to a successful actor, linking her personal and professional lives. Her influence extended beyond the screen, as her husband was responsible for popularizing a beloved baseball poem through his numerous performances, leaving a lasting cultural impact. From a small town girl dreaming of the bright lights to a name that would become synonymous with Hollywood gossip, her journey was as dramatic as the role she played. Starting as Dolly Dupeister in The Women, she mirrored her character's profession, becoming a gossip columnist whose words were awaited by readers nationwide. Her column, a fixture in the Los Angeles Times, was a must-read across America. Her life took many turns. From Pennsylvania to New York, she sought the stage, found love with DeWolf Hopper, and then set her sights on Hollywood. With her son by her side, she transitioned from acting to broadcasting, launching a radio program that would pave the way for her syndicated newspaper column. Her pen could be sharp, sparing no one, least of all Joan Bennett, who famously sent her a skunk, underscoring the stinging nature of her commentary. Hedda Hopper's legacy is a tale of ambition, voice, and the power of the written word in the golden age of cinema. In the television series Feud, her life and career were brought to the screen, with Judy Davis playing her role. Her early life was shaped by a strict upbringing in Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania, where she grew up in a Quaker household. This background laid the foundation for her strong personality and distinctive approach to her career in the entertainment industry. In the golden era of Hollywood, amidst the glamour and the flashing lights, there was a side to the film industry that was less spoken about. Hedda Hopper, known for her influential gossip column, faced a personal tragedy that stood in stark contrast to the glittering world she reported on. Her son, William Hopper, also an actor who struggled with the pressures of living up to his mother's fame. Despite his success, including a prominent role on the television series Perry Mason, William's life was marked by personal challenges and a strained relationship with Hedda. This aspect of her life, often overshadowed by her public persona, reveals the complex nature of family dynamics behind the scenes of stardom.